Hello and welcome into the cab of today's drive, which is episode 56 of Sammy Skinbob's Reality Money playthrough. Following on from the last delivery, which Sammy delivered a consignment of goat's cheese to Rosmark in Munich. We are still on the dairy-based delivery theme, as today's job takes Sammy from GNT in Munich with a cargo of cheese slices to be delivered to McDonald's in Rash. A total journey of 212 kilometers, or for the Brits out there 131 miles, whilst being paid a handsome 122 euros or 102 pounds in old money. Our mode of vehicle provided by the company is a new Mercedes Actros. But with 478,000 kilometers on the clock, the engine is just about running in. The interior is clean and it has GPS, so it has been well looked after. It is currently 1.40 p.m. and this journey should last around three hours, give or take a few minutes. As we all know, we cannot predict what the crazy stunts the AI traffic will perform in the trip. I am a bit miffed because I thought that I would have had some time to go and grab a bite to eat. I have not eaten since we left Munich and I am bloody starving. But I suppose that as we are going to a Mackey's, they might throw some free food our way. Saves me some money if they do. What do you think? Thanks a lot, buddy, for letting me through. Well, if it is of any interest to you, Sammy, I just seem to have a ham and cheese sandwich here. You can have it if you want. Thanks, but no thanks. I have seen enough cheese over the last few days to last me a lifetime. Well, Sammy, back to the job at hand. You have not told the viewers which route we are taking. Would you like to do it for once or should I do it again? Look, I do not do maps and stuff like that. I am not that bright. I just follow what the sat-nav tells me. But if you want to explain it, then boom, go for it. You bloody said it thicko. What did you just say? I did not hear you. Oh, it was nothing, Sammy. I was just thinking about the route. Sammy, we are currently heading west on Autobahn 8 heading towards Stuttgart, and then we will be heading north on the 7 toward Castle and Frankfurt. When we get to Wurzburg, we will then head east on the 6 towards Nuremberg, and we will be heading at the town of Orach to finish our delivery. Okay, whatever you say, don't make a difference to me. Bloody idiot. He just tapped the arse end of the truck. Hope that there's not too much damaged. Dickhead. Sammy, you mentioned in the last episode about you and Fat Sam breaking up and that she had been having an extramarital affair with Dippy Frank, as you referred to him. Let's go a bit further on this, if you don't mind. What was your relationship like with aforementioned Frank? How did you get on with him knowing that he was father to some of her children? You are right. I didn't want to go on about Sen, but with Frank. He was dad to Levi and Mackenzie, and I thought we was cool with that, as I was never really around that much. Was something going on when I was not there? I just don't know. But in all reality, there probably was. You see, Frank was always around when I wasn't. But when I was there, it was just about the money that I had on me. Buy me this. Buy me that. Are we having takeaway tonight? The kids need this. If you catch my meaning. I mean, we only ever bumped uglies on a couple of occasions. If you can pardon the phrase. Well, Sammy, that last part was just a little more info than I would have liked to hear. You have possibly just scarred me for life. So would you say that you and Frank were sort of on a friendly basis? He and Frank friends, are you taking the piss? We could not stand each other. You know that you get a feeling and take an instant dislike to someone. That was how I felt about him. The first time he ever spoke to me in his thick scouse accent. I mean, I thought he was giving me a shower with the amount of spit that was coming from his mouth. I needed more than one towel after having a chat with him. But what took the biscuit was... I was round at San's house one weekend and Tasty Tasha took the kids to the park so me and San could have some alone time. Frank burst into the house and slapped me on the back of my head. I just jumped up from the settee and lashed out. We went outside and Frank was shouting some abuse that one of the kids had said that I had done something. I had only got there that day, so he was just making stuff up. He was frothing and foaming at the mouth, and when he was shouting it was like a rain shower. Anyway, he punched me flush on the chin, and I went down like a sack of spuds. 
am a lover, not a fighter. But I got up and thought I am not letting this bag rat get away with that. I gripped him in a headlock and punched him a few times. But I had to let go because the smell of sweat was making me want to vomit. San then started on me and told me to off off back to Manchester. Before I got hurt, apparently Frank had some blokes waiting to jump me the following day when I went back to the train station. The following day San was ringing me and told me that I was not to go over there again because Frank wanted blood because I had knocked his false teeth out and they had smashed on the ground. So she would then come and see me. I was like, yeah, okay, whatever you want to do. So that was the basis of my interactions with Dippy Frank. That must have amused you somehow, as I just found that last part hilarious. You knocked his false teeth out. How did you react knowing this information? Was it a premeditated attack? How did Frank know that you was going to be there? Somebody must have told him. When I told my brother Paul, we both just burst out laughing. Paul told me to F her off in no uncertain terms but I had feelings for her and just could not do it. If I had known then what I know, now I would have been long gone. I think we should both just reflect in silence what you have been through and what a lucky escape you had. Knocked his false teeth out. <laughs> Please hit that subscribe button and like with a thumbs up. We're approaching our destination now. Looks like Sammy has quite an easy parking, so let's see if he can scam some free food. Don't forget to subscribe and like until next time, happy trucking.
I made a right pig's ear of that parking, let's go eat. Sammy signing off, bye.